This is Amber. She fell in love with Chad. They've been married for eight years. But two years ago, Amber fell in love with Ashley. We're in a polyamorous relationship. With their unusual relationship dynamic, the trio have gotten used to stares when they're out together. We, we have this like ongoing joke about like, what are they staring about? Like, is it all the, three of us? What's happening? So. What is happening? But it's not just outsiders that have judged their relationship. Yeah, my family's reaction wasn't great. Their relationship has raised quite a few eyebrows. I was surprised when they said they were uh, interested in an open relationship. I thought maybe things were getting a little boring in the marriage or something and y'all were just looking to spice things up or something like that. What are we having for dinner? Oh my gosh, I have not thought that far ahead. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have pizza anymore. Oh, okay. Tired of pizza. Tired of pizza? We haven't had pizza in like... Still tired of it. <laughs> I'm Amber. Um, this is my husband, Chad. And this is my fiance, Ashley. So we're in a polyamorous relationship that would be considered a hinge by most of the polyamorous community. Um, so I am with Chad and I am with Ashley. Um, but they aren't together. I identify as a uh, pansexual. Um, I identify as a lesbian. And I'm... Um, straight. Yeah, I'm <laughs> straight, yeah. We, we have this like ongoing joke about like, what are they staring about? Like, right, is it, is is it me? Is it the feet? My condition is called arthrogryposis. Um, it's a joint and muscle condition. My elbow joints are locked straight. From a very early age, I just naturally started doing things with my feet. Is it the, all three of us? What's happening? So, what is happening? You know, there's a lot to Do they observe. think Chad's our dad? <laughs> what's going on here? So this is mine and Chad's room. Chad and Amber have been married for eight years, having met when Amber was 19, playing at an open mic at a local bar. And we got married after six less months. Yeah, definitely, yeah definitely we just year. knew we wanted to be and together it was, forever. It's been quite amazing. This girl right here. Before we got married, I think we just established, like, I'm pansexual, I like women, and maybe one day I'd like to be with a woman again. You know, I think yeah. that's as far as we had kind of um, talked it out. Six years into their marriage, and Chad and Amber decided it was time to open up their relationship. So I met Ashley on Tinder, um, and Chad and I were doing, like, the separate dating thing and hit it off, like, immediately. Um, and when I'm not upstairs um, on nights with Chad, I stay downstairs with Ashley in our bedroom together, which is down here. You know, I think um, from the moment I met Ashley, I knew there was something really, really special about her. I'm gonna start crying because I just, you're so cute. Ooh. Amber was very upfront about Chad from the beginning, so I think that's why I felt super comfortable about it. So when we met, it wasn't awkward or weird. Seeing the relationship just grow and them being together just, you know, is very positive for me. Just, and there's no jealousy that I feel with um, Amber and, and Ashley at all. I think the hardest thing is other people's opinions that are Shh. not in this relationship. I, I mean, think the judgment sure. is really frustrating. We had various um, reactions from different people. My family was extremely supportive from the very beginning. And my family also was very supportive. But Chad's family had found it harder to deal with his poly lifestyle. Um, as far as my parents, yeah, they weren't too happy. Um, you know, they're just kind of, um, I guess, stuck in their ways. My family is disapproving of it because of just their upbringing about how a marriage should work between a man and a woman. Other than that, I mean, they, they've always been there f for me. Um, we're just going to make some snacks for when Robert gets here um, and some drinks. We're going to make some fancy hot cocos. Um, yeah, so we haven't really um, talked to my friends in depth about our polyamorous relationship. I've known Robert for a long time. I know he's not a judgmental person. He's a very uh, positive, uh, supportive person. And I, even if he has some injections, I know he'll, he'll have our back. And All right, how you doing, buddy? All right, man. Good. How you doing? Yeah. Thanks for coming over, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Shake your hand, but I don't like you very much. No. <laughs> Uh, I've known Chad since we were about in, I guess, the first or second grade. I tend to have thought before that uh, 
polyamory was kind of a pipe dream. You might delude yourself for a little while and think that, that it'll work, but eventually one party's gonna be aggrieved and jealous. What were your first thoughts whenever? I, I, I just assumed you were gonna go to hell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and burn for all eternity. That was my first thought, you know? I was like, well, he's gonna go to hell, all of them. No, no, I, I, I was a little bit worried that um, you know, jealousy might set in and might ruin y'all's marriage at some point. I think whenever you first told me, I kind of thought, well, this might be a passing phase. You know, like, I thought maybe things were getting a little boring in the marriage or something and y'all were just looking to spice things up or something like that. And it's nice to see that, that, that it works out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. All right, man love. <laughs> All right. Regardless of what others might think of their relationship choices, these three are sure they're where they want to be. And Amber and Ashley are even planning on tying the knot in the near future. We got engaged and um, planning on getting married next year, so. I'm excited, I'm ready to go. I, in my mind, we're already wives. We don't really care about having a legal wedding. That doesn't matter to us. And I feel blessed to have both of them um, in, in my life. It's easy for me, I just love the hell out of both of them. <laughs> it's like, kind of magical, you know? I have both of these people that love me and I think that's really cool. We all kiss in public, we all hold hands in public. Well, no one, no one else hides their love in public usually, so why, why would we? This is Artu. He fell in love with Luana. Foi amor à primeira vista, foi através dos olhos dela que eu me apaixonei. However, it wasn't just Luana who caught his eye. Eu tenho oito parceiros junto com a Luana. Não existe só um amor entre eu e ela, né? Existem vários amores. After showing the world their unique relationship style, they became the target of a lot of negative comments online. Isso é nojento. Ah, você não tem amor próprio. Ou oh, se ela faz isso diante das pessoas, imagino que ela faz por trás. Today, Artu is introducing his grandma to his seven girlfriends for the first time. But what will she make of them all? When I tinha cerca de 24 anos, sempre fui receoso de chegar perto das mulheres. Sempre tive essa dificuldade. E daí. Eu comecei a ganhar peso. Eu cheguei a pesar 97 quilos. Artu's weight gain affected his confidence so much, he was worried he'd never find love. But a trip to a local shop changed his life forever when he met his future wife. Fiquei encantado com aquela mulher, né? Eu coloquei o meu telefone lá com a esperança de que alguém pudesse entrar em contato comigo. Eu lembro que quando eu conheci o Artu, ele sempre foi muito atencioso com, comigo. Ele era bem cheio, assim, mas de qualquer forma ele chamava atenção por onde ele passava. Their relationship blossomed and they decided to get married. Having his new wife by his side, Artu had the motivation to start a healthier lifestyle. Eu perdi 27 quilos no período de um ano e meio. Depois de toda essa mudança de corpo e de visual, me deu mais coragem de poder me relacionar com outras pessoas. With Artu's newfound body confidence, he decided he wanted to explore the idea of bringing new women into his relationship. And to his surprise, Luana was also up for the change. Eu me sinto realizada com esse casamento, porque minha intenção sempre foi fazer o feliz. Então, se tá feliz, eu tô muito feliz também. Eu adoro as meninas. Ocorre da Luana ficar com as meninas enquanto eu estou ausente. Eu gosto né, de ver ela se divertindo com as meninas. Nem todas as meninas moram com a gente, né? Porque alguns pais ainda não aceitam. Hoje eu tenho oito mulheres. Depois do, desse relacionamento poliamoroso, a gente ficou muito mais apegado um ao outro. Nós sempre tivemos, mas hoje em dia tem muito mais aquela confiança. A gente se entende com um olhar apenas. E isso fortaleceu bastante nós dois, como pessoa, como marido e mulher. Na melhor parte de namorá-las... Eu é... já sei. É ser paparicado por todas elas. Tainá, Lorena, Yara, Elina, Emily, 
Tayene. A Cíntia. Não tem algum probleminha, pare, conversa. É. É. Com a família mesmo. A melhor parte de, de ter o Arthur é que a ele paciência. dá atenção a todo mundo por igual. Ele, tipo, ele quer suprir a necessidade de todo mundo. E sem falar também na troca de conhecimento, porque ele é uma pessoa super inteligente também. Sim. Artu and his new tribe of women decided they wanted a ceremony to unify their special love. Hora de beijar a noiva. Acabou tendo que elas me ajudarem beijando entre si. E como é que é a relação de vocês com a Luana? Ah, é maravilhosa. Ah, eu sou completamente apaixonada por ela, gente. <risos> eu também sou. Não tem nada de mal pra falar dela, só coisa boa. Sou muito paciente, muito alegre, muito pra cima. Ela deixou o astral da casa muito mais leve. Você relacionou é, é Lembrar o nome delas por um bom tempo foi muito desafiador. Mas hoje em dia nem tanto. Não tem queridinha, tá? Rola ciúminho se ele der atenção mais a uma do que pra outra. Aí ficam... Ah, não, mas por que você tá mais tempo com ela? Ah, mas e eu? Você me esqueceu hoje? Aí tem esses tipos de cobrança. Eu não, já estou mais acostumada, mas a, as novadas, <risos> elas às vezes ficam com esse ciúme um bicho. And it's not just jealousy the women have to contend with. Once they opened up about their relationship online, many questioned how their love could possibly be true love at all. Isso é nojento. Ah, você não tem amor próprio. Ou se ela faz isso diante das pessoas, imagina o que ela faz por trás. Uma pessoa que não tem experiência, é muito fácil falar da outra. Seu objetivo é espalhar o amor, né? Somos o próprio amor. There were also some stern words from family members. A minha família não aceita, mas eles toleram, né? Oi, vó. Oi, bom dia. A minha avó só conhece a Luana, mas ela vai conhecer hoje as minhas sete namoradas. Descobri agora recente. Fiquei surpresa, porque a nossa religião, a nossa cultura é completamente diferente. Já reclamei tantas vezes. É mais devido à nossa cultura, né? Nossa religião. Aí a gente nunca aceitou certas coisas, mas... Eu acredito que uma pessoa não pode ter posse de outra. Trazer outras pessoas para nossa relação acrescentou muita coisa na nossa vida. Tem que respeitar os sentimentos dele e a vida dele. Mas o meu sonho era só eles dois. Quanto de desnato a senhora quer? Depende dela, né? <risos> Mas e se eu quiser das outras? <risos> não. <risos> o que, é que a senhora achou? Eu, tudo bem. É o que você quer? As meninas, graças a Deus, tá tudo em ordem. We are the Porter family. Uh, Shalon is my beautiful first wife. We have two children together. This is my second wife, uh, Chantel. Last year we had a beautiful baby girl, Soraya. You're expanding our family to a wonderful great number six. 
My relationship with Chantel was awkward at first, but what I found the hardest to deal with was my dad having an affair. It just really didn't sit right with me. It was hard for me to hold it together. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've always known that, okay, I think girls are beautiful. I never had a threesome before. I've never been a one woman before. I'm looking like, okay, well, if we're doing this, we're doing this. <laughs> oh, man. You want to set the bacon for me? Can you set the bacon for me? I guess so. My baby, it's my baby, my oldest baby. We are the Porter family. Uh, Shalon is my beautiful first wife. Uh, we have two children together. This is my second wife, uh, Chantel. And last year we had a beautiful baby girl, Soraya, uh, that also came with a picture, expanding our family to a wonderful great number six. You can consider us polygamous, which is a man with multiple wives. Alex and Shalorn met when they were teenagers, and they had their two children before they turned 20. They've been together for over 20 years. There's a special bond that me and Alex have just because we've grown up together and we've persevered over so much. As the couple entered into adulthood, Shalorn began to suspect that Alex was having an affair. He stopped coming home after work. Every day after work, he just Come home, shower, I'm going to hang out with the boys. Come home, shower, I'm going to hang out with the boys. And eventually something just told me, hey, just look at his phone. And when I opened up his phone, he had screenshots of him and her. And then I had texted him what I seen, and he actually just told me, I'm seeing someone else. I don't want to talk about it no more. Gonna boss for a tissue? Thanks. What I found the hardest to deal with was my dad having an affair. I was pretty upset about it. I was mad, if you want to be honest. It felt so rushed because she was just there all the time. And I really didn't know her like that. Alex and Chantel met while they were working together and slowly began dating. When Shalorn found out about her husband's affair, she surprised both parties by asking them out for drinks. Alex and Chantel agreed. I've always been open-minded. I've always known that, okay, I think girls are beautiful. I liked her a lot. Chantel's energy never came off as aggressive or like, I'm your replacement. And I didn't have a reason to be mad at Shalana. And from that point, I was like, okay, let's just continue to go about the night and see where it flows to. Me and Shalon, we all, we did used to be in a relationship romantically. And now our new dynamic, it is we do date Alex separately. They wanted to bring another man into the relationship. That's mainly on them. You can't, I don't control them or own them. What is the challenges of sharing the bed together, all three of us? We each have a designated spot to sleep at. Me, it's the middle. Like, they will put me in the middle. I've asked for the edge repeatedly. It is hot in the middle. You're I know, I lost my <laughs> napkin. So I leave the bed and I go sleep on the couch. <laughs> no, I enjoy cooking though. I am not gonna lie. I enjoy cooking because uh, making a good meal brings the family together. Before Chantel came around, I have never heard the term poly. I kind of understood what was going on. I just took it for what it was, and as long as they were, as long as they see my mom happy. My relationship with Chantel was awkward at first, but over time, I kind of just started to accept her more. He's cooking. You want oh, you want bacon. Baby likes bacon. Take it, take it. No, she wants yours. She wants mine? Yeah. That's greedy. Oh my God. You eat some. I'm just happy Chantel's a part of my family now, and I could actually look at her as another mom. She even gave me a little sister. I've been asking for a sister for the longest. Hold on, baby. She wants to say. Yes. Only because I'm fucking her sister. The backlash that we get from our social media, yes, we get a lot. The comments be like, oh my God, he's a manipulator, he ain't nothing. They were trying to put me and Shalon against each other in the comments and stuff. They write you in your DMs and tell you the same thing in your DMs. So they feel you're not responding to the comments. People say they know me. I I, I don't pay attention to none of that. No, I, I really don't. The plan for the day is um getting ready, going out and celebrating um this beautiful young lady's uh, 21st. The first official 21 birthday drink with her parents. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> no, you're excited. No, these are yeah. official New Orleans drinks. I believe 
how far we came as a family is leaps and bounds. We started off in a rocky position, but we grew to know each other and learn how to love each other in different ways and different fashions. And I think as the days go by, we continue to learn each other and build our love even stronger. I'm just happy Chantel's a part of my family now, and I could actually look at her as another mom. We're gonna make sure every moment is memorable. Yeah, life is an adventure. Yes. Yes. And that's all, that's what we're gonna live by. Mm. This is Matt. He fell in love with Carmen. Matt and I have been married for almost nine years now, together for 11. Then Carmen fell for Keith, who was already in love with Brooklyn. And did I mention Brooklyn is also dating Matt? I think the best label that we've come up with so far is a heterosexual quad or a poly quad or a double couple relationship. Whatever they call their relationship, not everyone has reacted positively to People them. People just assume that when you're polyamorous, they're like, oh, you're into some weird stuff. No matter what you do, I mean, people judge you, so. And it's not just judgment they have to contend with. Does anyone ever get jealous? Who On a count of three, raise your hands. Ready, go. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get jealous a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my. That's how it's gonna be the intro, y'all. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is like a normal Saturday night. <laughs> I'm trying to look more comfortable, but it's not working. So. How do the quads start? Um, I'm so comfortable. <laughs> we love each other. Matt and I got into West Coast Swing Dancing last year, and Brooklyn and Keith are kind of the top people in Nashville to, to do that. And we had seen them around and you know Matt and I personally had talked about an open relationship or what that would look like and we kind of just all hung out a couple of times. It happened pretty quickly I mean and it was very organically too. As a quad we've been together for about eight months now. Not long into their poly relationship and all four people in this quad are living under one roof. Keith and I were in an original relationship and Matt and Carmen are married in an original relationship as well. We like to call ourselves the OGs. And then we also have the switch where Keith and Carmen are in a relationship and me and Matthew are in a relationship as well. I think the best label that we've come up with so far is a heterosexual quad. Poly quad, double couple relationship. I've seen a lot of monogamous relationships that they just make it work. And that's not something that me and Carmen wanted to do. We didn't want to just make it work for 20 years, 30 years. We wanted to actually live a loving life. And so if this is the way to do that. <laughs> but, but, she always thanks me for laughing at his jokes. But I think they're She funny, laughs so. at most of them, which is, it's great. It's <laughs> actually, it makes me feel really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to be monogamous in today's day and age. Like there's so many social media outlets, a lot of temptation, if you will. There are pieces in within yourself and within other people that aren't always going to align perfectly. And if you have other people in your life to kind of fill those gaps. Me and Brooklyn, we, we tend to have a lot more banter like uh, <laughs> than me and Carmen. <laughs> Keith and I really kind of do more like soul search work together is that fair to say or like yeah i think that uh we tend to dig a little deeper into our feelings each yeah. one of us kind of have roles in each other's lives that are met by the individuals here and it's a pretty great family unit overall but it's not just the four of them living under one roof carmen and matt's two young children are also part of the picture <laughs> Karen and Ellie know that Brooklyn and Keith are part of the family and that we all love them very much. Beyond that, um, we refer to them as their godparents and that's all, you know, they do know. Brooklyn, Keith, mommy, dad, owner, and me, and Annie. So what do you think about having Keith and Brooke as part of the family now? Um, that they're nice to us and I like them being here. Yeah. There probably will be a point where we would tell them. Uh, they don't, I mean, I at, so young. at six and three, I don't think you really even understand what a marriage looks like or a or just a romantic relationship because you don't really have anything to go off of. So I do think eventually we would tell them. You get some ice cream at the ice cream store? I want to get donuts. Donuts? We go out sometimes and we go to restaurants. 
Mm-hmm. And that's it. With two kids and a long-term marriage to Matt, Carmen found it hard opening up about her evolving relationship. I was pretty nervous to tell my family because I felt like they weren't going to be okay with it or judge me. <laughs> I put it off for a while and then I finally was just like, Mom, we're dating other people. And I just like blurted it out and <laughs> Matt heard me on the phone and he was like, whoa. But I was like, I'd rather just have it out there and then, I mean, people are going to judge you if they love you, if they don't love you, no matter what you do, I mean, people judge you, so. With some judgment being harder to deal with than others. They, they tell me all the time how they, they're like, are you thinking about your children and this is going to mess them up and it's not right and all that stuff. So that's been pretty hard for me because I take parenting very seriously and I would never do something that would put my children in danger. So that's been kind of difficult. Wow. What? Do you have it with two hands? Lick it. Oh, your eyes? I would say the biggest misconception is that people think that we just, you know, do stuff all together and have orgies all day, every day, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like people just assume that when you're polyamorous or that you have multiple loves in your life, people think they're like, oh, you're into some weird stuff. We feel the most judgment when we first tell people about our relationship. Um, but for the most part, it's been really positive. Most people just have a lot of questions. And it's not just the judgment that this quad has had to contend with. Does anyone ever get jealous? Yeah. On a count of three, raise your hands. Ready, go. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get jealous a lot, but that's just part of it. It's one of the challenges I feel when we're all communicating mm -hmm. that we can work yeah, through anything. Night. What would I like to do for my next date night? Do you like going out and just going to a restaurant and hanging out? I do, out, but I, I would love to do a date day and go to like a date amusement day. park or something. I'll go to like... Yes, we do schedule switch or OG time. Mm -hmm. However, we like to not make it so... Um, rigid? Yeah, so rigid. Like it's a flexible schedule. Flexible schedule. <laughs> obviously, um, if there is a tiff that's happening between the OG and it's time for us to switch, we don't do that because we haven't seen the best outcome. So we make sure that our relationships are solid before we go into switching um, because we don't want anyone to be hurt. We all kind of give each other a look like, hey, is it? Hey, what do you, what do you feel like? Uh, yeah. that, hey, hey. I don't like that look. So it brings a lot more excitement into it as well because we don't want to lose that. The benefits of being in a poly relationship are definitely um, just having another person to lean on emotionally and then connect with them in a deeper level. With so many benefits of being poly, this quad had no intention of going back to being two pairs anytime soon. Being in a quad relationship is just the extra amount of everything. It's going to be extra love, which is amazing. It's going to be extra fights or extra disagreements. Sometimes it's amazing and sometimes it's not so amazing, <laughs> but you have those hills and valleys in every relationship. Who doesn't want more love in their life? <laughs> it's been pretty great, actually.